Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. So it's Monday morning and of course it's a time for another vlog. First of all, I would like to say big thank you to everyone who watched my last vlog. It seems like um, this vlog was really popular and I also received a lot of interesting messages and um, questions. So um, yeah, I really appreciated your feedback. That really means world to me. So one of the viewers asked me if I wouldn't mind and do another vlog blog and talk a little bit more about how do I get those specific face expressions from my clients and I'll be more than happy to do that um, even though I've done similar vlog in the past um, I would like to kind of expand this a little bit more and then give you some more detailed information how do I get those face expression and how I approach this whole thing because as you probably know in headshot photography the face expression is pretty much um, like I don't want to say it's everything but it's one of the crucial elements which we have to get in order to get a really good headshot so let's chat about it and I actually gonna go for this entire thing step by step so the number one important factor when it comes to getting the good ex face expression from the client I I, I, I I learned over the years that you have to work in the place where your client feels safe feels comfortable and you are not distracted by um, you know let's say some bystanders or by let's say other people who are actually uh, in this area so especially when I shoot like business headshots um, I found I'm always trying to find a place where it's 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 quiet is the place where I, the client feel comfortable and it's not getting any distraction um, also I've learned over the years that I do a lot of um, headshot session in my clients homes I found that this is the place where they feel really comfortable this is kind of their area and and it's much much easier for me to work in those places because I know that these people are gonna feel safe and they're gonna feel comfortable so whenever you're shooting a headshot the first thing you have to look after is the location um, you know also depends on the shoot because let's say I'm shooting a model who've done tons of shoots before or an actor who feels comfortable that maybe it's not as important because they know how to actually get in the zone and nail those shots and then you can work in literally any places but in my case most of my clients they never have done headshot session before or they've done them like really rarely so it's something which I always um, want to make sure that um, they work and we're going to be working in the place where they feel uh, very very comfortable so another tip what I found and always helps before you even get into the photo shoot it's always to kind of have maybe some music on the background I found that always helps it's like a little little tip it's not something big but if you have a chance to have some iPhone or something which can I don't know produce some really nice and calm music that always put this person in some kind of different mood I oh I found that that really really works it's not a something you have to do but I found if you see the client is a little bit stressed out and you want to put them in ease and kind of make them more comfortable having a little bit of music on the background which relax them that always um, helps so another important tip what I have to share with you guys is before you even start shooting it's, it's it's extremely important to explain to your client what you are going to do how you're going to communicate how what you're planning to do um, what your expectations and stuff like that um, I don't think you want to do the shoot where you bring the person to the location or you start shooting and they had no idea where you're going with this 
I've noticed that a lot of photographers they pretty much they they get the person and they just start shooting. Um, it's it's important to kind of let them know what your goals are and 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 what you're gonna do and and, and stuff like that. That's always helps because then you know how you're gonna commu- you can explain to them how you're gonna communicate with them, um, what kind of face expressions you're looking for, um, how you're gonna achieve those, how you're gonna talk to them and what's the plan for a shoot it's it's always in my opinion extremely important so they know what they actually gonna go through and what the process gonna look like so whenever you have a photo shoot make sure that you will talk to the person beforehand and you're gonna explain to them what exactly you're planning to do um, another tip which is extremely important in my opinion is you want to talk to your client throughout a shoot you don't want to put them on the other side um, cover them with a bunch of soft boxes and then start shooting without talking to them I think there's nothing more awkward for them than just just being silent um, so whatever I'm trying to do is I always try to talk to the client throughout a shoot and then you know do a few shots Shots, talk a little bit and then do you know again some some shots and then just just you know having conversation going throughout entire shoot and another thing what I've learned is you don't want to talk about your stuff you want to talk to the client about their things so you want to talk about their hobbies about the last vacations you want to talk about something positive which pretty much is gonna take their mind off what you guys are doing and I found that throughout the process when they open up a little bit more to you then it's much much easier to get this stuff what you're looking for um, usually the first 15 to 20 minutes it's it's the kind of time where you actually try to know uh, the client and you want to know how wh- where the conversation should go and you what you want to talk about um, and again you want to talk about something positive if you actually start feeling that the conversation going the wrong path or you start talking about things which not making the person happy you better just close down this topic and try to move on to um, something different okay so the next tip what I would like to actually talk about is you want to encourage the person throughout a shoot by showing them the shots what you're getting Um, if you shoot tethered then it's much much easier you can just flip your computer and show them what you're uh, what you're getting that always helps I found that whenever the client sees the photos which they really like or something which really you know kind of shows them that you guys are going or we are going in the right direction that always helps that's something which i found whenever you get this good shot and you show to the client automatically they try to do better they try to um force themselves to basically you know just just get more engaged and, and and do more and push their boundaries to get um, really good shot so another tip which I also encourage to do uh, do breaks throughout a shoot don't kind of take a client for let's say one hour and just keep shooting for an hour you want to make sure that um, the client have some breaks so the water breaks the clothing change breaks you know try to kind of get the feeling whenever you see the client is, is getting kind of like tired or you know it doesn't feel right or you know it's it's you can you can really easy see sense those things it's not something which is like a rocket science but if you see that the client getting not comfortable and you're not getting the right shot I think this is the time where you want to give them a little bit of a couple minutes or five minutes a break where they can kind of relax stretch their muscles stretch their bones and then and then you can bring them back and you know get uh, this whole thing uh, going so Having said that, another tip what I found is you want to get the client um, moving. You don't want to kind of like plant the person in a spot and just keep shooting because this is I also learned it's it's really getting them tired and then you know you losing completely their kind of like positive um, emotions you 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 losing their kind of positive approach to the shoot. Um, I've noticed 
whenever I'm shooting, I'm trying to kind of get them moving all the time. And you know, they're switching the position, they're switching the pose. Um, you know, they you you're changing the, the 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 legs. You do everything what you can to get them moving all the time. Also, when they moving all the time, you can also kind of take their mind off. Um, you know, getting stiffed and then, and, and, you know, like kind of making the weird faces and then, and, and stuff like that. So that's something what I extremely encourage to do that, you know, you want to make sure that the client is moving um, all the time. Okay. So the next thing what I want to talk about, and this is one of the most important things. Um, this is something what's going to get you really amazing face expression. So most of, um, the photographers, what I've noticed, what they do, they ask the client to look at the camera. And this is something which you really don't want to do because they look somewhere and they look nowhere. Um, and I've noticed those face expressions are brutal. They look like really, really bad. They just like, there's no connection between you, um, um, and they, well, there's no connection between the camera and your client. So usually what I ask to do is you ask the client to look through the lens, but the way they have to look at it is let them know that there's something, let's say, interesting on the other side of the lens and let them engage with, with the camera. Let them look through the lens. Let them look at there's something which is really interesting. It's, it's, it's something which uh, is really exciting for them. And you can do this several different ways. You can ask them to picture something or imagine something, and then you will automatically see that they automatically started engaging with the with the camera and they not look at you like you know you are some kind of stranger um, and, and then they just do weird face that's usually when they look at you like they're with no purpose I've noticed that automatically those face expressions are really bad so the next time on the next shoot make sure that you ask the client or a person you're shooting to look through the lens. Make sure they try to picture something there and there's something interesting and you've noticed that it will be huge difference um, in their face expression. So that's something which I extremely encourage and you will see that that's always helps. Um, I know there's photographers really known that they ask about that squint. Um, I've noticed sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, if you have client who knows what they're doing and they know this whole squint idea, how this how this whole thing works, it's easy. But most of the time, I I've noticed that you know when you ask them to do the squint, they 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 don't know what to do. They do these weird faces and they forcing themselves to do something which doesn't look good. Um, and it's it's again it's it's a tricky thing. Sometimes I found this looking through the lens and then try to kind of the stuff what I was just telling you about that works way way better because you're not forcing them to do anything weird with their eyes. Um, they do this more um, naturally. So that's something what I've learned over the years that sometimes this whole thing works better, especially when you work with someone who has no experience shooting headshots and they're doing this first time and they basically don't know how to do those squints so you know you have to figure it out and try to make sure that whenever you shoot you see how the client approach this whole thing and what is capable um, of, of doing so the next thing what I would like to um, say and this is another tip and this is the last one and I know it's gonna sound kind of bizarre but uh, but it's extremely important and I've learned this recently and this is something which I think is worth to share. So whenever I shoot headshots, I always ask my clients to turn off their phones. And I know maybe that sounds silly and people are like, okay, why, why do you do that? Um, I had recently a photo shoot where someone was like constantly on the phone um, and it was so distracting that I just was kind of like blown away that you know they couldn't pretty much take their mind off their cell phone and what happened was you know we were just keep shooting and they're just keep 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 test well keep checking the phone and checking the social media and doing selfies and doing this and doing that and you know doing phone calls and stuff like that it was a little bit in my opinion disrespectful but I, I've learned that you know if someone has cell phone on them and they constantly think about 
all the messages and all this posts which are coming or whatever that's always kind of is distracting for them so the next photo shoot you guys are gonna have and I do this on all my shoots right now I ask my clients if they wouldn't mind for the time we will be shooting we pretty much gonna turn off the phones and I'm gonna turn off my phone as well uh, put them away and then we can focus um, only on the photo shoot and they don't have to be uh, distracted by something which you know it's it's in their pocket and just kind of takes their mind off um, the, the the photo shoot so so that would be pretty much everything at this point um, I think I cover a lot of lot of um, different things and hopefully that will help you to um, get those interesting um, headshots I also think that you know each client is different and you can't kind of like approach all of them kind of with the same recipe you have to figure it out um, everyone differently and you have to approach them differently but this is just the kind of over guideline how I approach to get a good headshot and get a good face expressions and you know I, I know sometimes people say like oh you have to let them do this and let them do that but I found there's so many different other factors like you know the environment uh, like uh, you know just 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 basically the place where you're shooting and how you approach the photo shoot to get the person uh, feel comfortable feel happy feel kind of like you know engaging those are the, those things which you want to look after to make sure to get those um, cool face expression so if you have any additional questions regarding this this topic or you have some other ideas or any other things which you would like to add to this please feel free to uh, put the comment down below or send me message or email whatever works best for you and then I would like to discuss this um, even more because I'm learning also um, along the way and I'm trying to kind of get new ideas and new concepts how to approach uh, this 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 topic to to get even better face expression from my future clients so if you have anything on the table which is worth it to share feel free to shoot me an email and I'll be more than happy to share them maybe on the next uh, next vlog so definitely I would like to hear your your opinion on that so wishing you guys fantastic week wonderful photo shoots um, stay tuned and um, I will be looking forward to hear from you and um, yeah talk to you guys uh, very soon bye bye